Hi, my name is Josh McLean. I'm the head of support at Source Fabric, and I'm going to run you through how to use our help desk. So the first thing you'll have to do is sign up for an account. You can find the button right up here. Uh, I'm not going to walk you through that because sign up's really straightforward. Then you're going to want to log in. The login button is right next to the sign up button in the upper right part of the website. So you click there. You go ahead and fill in your email and your password that you signed up for. Or you can sign in with your Google account, your Facebook, or your Twitter. All right. Once we're signed in, uh, you can go to the knowledge base if you have a question. This isn't uh, too populated at the, at the time, but we're uh, going to increase the articles here down the road. So normally when you're logging into the help desk, you're probably here to submit a request. So what you're going to do is click on this, and you're going to make a ticket. All right, I've already populated this ticket, so I, can, I don't have to um, have you watch while I fill everything in. So the first thing you're going to fill in is the subject right up here. Now, make sure that you are brief but detailed in the, in the description. Uh, just writing something like need help or urgent uh, isn't as helpful as uh, letting us know exactly what the problem is. So in this case, I wrote that the song was uploaded, but it's not showing up in the library. The second field is which product of ours you're having an issue with. In this case, it'd be airtime. And then I wrote a pretty detailed description of what's happening with steps to recreate the issue. So that's what you'll do down here. Just make sure you leave us as many steps as you can. That's going to help us identify bugs and be able to fix it faster. Also, the more detailed you are, the less chance that myself or a developer will have questions. Um, it'll just make the whole process easier, and the more information that you can give us, the better. The next field is the URL. So in this case, it's just my Airtime Pro account. So I'm just saying that I have a problem at josh.airtime.pro. If you have news scoop or book type, and you're having issues on a specific page, giving us the URL of the specific page that you're having an issue with will help us better identify the problem. Uh, the last field you'll be filling out is the priority. Now there are four priorities, low, normal, high, and urgent. In the case of low, maybe it's a spelling error or something else that isn't affecting your day-to-day -day operations with whatever software it is. In this case, I selected normal because we need to upload the song, but it's not uh, in imperative that I do so. Now, if it were something that needed to be scheduled later today or tomorrow, for example, a pre-recorded show or something like that, I might mark it as high because it needs to be taken care of today because I need it online for later this evening. Now, the final one is urgent. Please only mark your tickets urgent when it is absolutely mission critical. Uh, an example would be if your radio station went down or if you're using New Scoop that your website was down or something like that. Something that's mission critical where your business can't function um, until this is fixed. Now the last thing you'll be able to do is an attach a file. In this case, uh, normally what you'd attach is something like a screenshot, but sometimes people would need to attach a song or if they had they recorded a video of the bug anything that you think will be helpful to us the, as I said the more information that we have the easier it's going to be for us to take care of everything once that's done go ahead and submit your ticket now that we've submitted our request it's going to take us to a page where we have our outstanding requests currently we have two we have one ticket I made called need help which is an example of um, a bad subject to have and then the next one is the ticket that I just showed uh, the second one so now you can just check on it see where it's at in this case nobody's responded yet same thing with this guy no answer um, you'll be able to see these tickets and when somebody from the support team updates them you'll get a notification via email and you can log back in and interact with us that way or you can actually just respond to the email and it'll update the ticket now if you're working with multiple people in your organization who are creating tickets, we can set you up so that you can see other people in the organization's tickets. I'm going to go ahead and show you how that works real quick. So I just click on my organization name, in this case Source Fabric, and you'll see the two tickets I made and a third ticket from one of my colleagues about uh, an airtime bug. So it's still open. So we can go ahead and click on it to see what's going on. You can add comments to it if that's how it's set up. Uh, and you'll you'll also receive notifications then when it's updated. Uh, if you have any other questions, go ahead and let me know. You can contact me directly. My name is Josh McLean, and that's J O S H dot M C L A I N at sourcefabric.org. 
and I'd be happy to walk you through this or answer any quick questions you have about Zendesk. Uh, in the meantime, look forward to hear from you. Take care.